When you think of confusing times in medical school, probably your mind gravitates towards your first time in the anatomy lab, maybe your first time presenting a patient, delivering your first baby, being asked to write a crit care note for the first time. But this is the part of med school no one really talks about. And it's a time I kind of coined med school purgatory because it sure does feel like that. And I'm talking about that period between when you submit your rank list and you're done with all your interviews and then match day. And depending on when people finish up their clinical rotations, and that's completely dependent on med school, you're just waiting. <laughs> and it is awful. Well, let me rephrase that. You have all the time in the world, almost too much time. For me, I've had the blessing of really being done with any formal clinical responsibilities since about December. And with that, I've gotten an incredible opportunity to travel for YouTube, as well as travel to check out some of the cities and programs that I might be interested in. That's led to a lot of fun memories and meeting a lot of awesome people. But really for the past month, month and a half, it's been this strange thing of like, I don't know what to do with my hands. Medical students and medical professionals in general are so used to going 10,000 miles an hour that when you get stuck in a five mile an hour zone like this period of life, you don't know what to do. <laughs> like I've just, I've been starting to like pack up some of the things for, you know, a move in hopes that, you know, match day goes well and I have a, I uh, have a job. Hopefully that, that happens. But yeah, it's the first time in forever this commodity called time is actually present in med school. With that time, you have a couple options. You either seek to fill it or your mind starts to fill it for you with a healthy but at times unhealthy level of match anxiety because that's the missing piece of the puzzle that's left. Just hoping that match day goes well and of course you know finishing up the last of like the online assignments and whatnot to graduate with an md or do so today is a very special day for a lot of reasons and a very busy day first being i just submitted my last like online academic assignments to graduate from med school and in just a few moments i'm about to go do my last simulation with a standardized patient of med school to graduate so after today besides match and hooding i'm done i'm i'm done i hope i still know how to do a little bit of outpatient medicine i've done like anesthesia and quick care only for the past like several months so this standardized patient might get a little might be a little rusty, we'll say that. But I at least have the confidence of today's sponsor, Janu. Janu is a premium scrub brand made by doctors for doctors. When I first discovered Janu, it was actually in a live stream with Dr. Neela, the founder of Janu, who is a pediatrician. And she was on a live stream with my good friend, Jake Goodman, who that's how I found Jake, in fact. So Dr. Neela, somehow you're part of this story, thank you. But having scrub designed and made for healthcare workers by healthcare workers means the world to me. Janu actually originates from the Hindi word jan, meaning life. So this is new life, which is exactly how I feel when wearing these scrubs, because I mean, it feels like I'm wearing the most premium athletic brand ever. And I will never complain about going to work in residency in these, I mean, Come on. They're comfortable, they fit amazing, they have inclusive sizing, including those short inseams for guys like me. I've already had these go through a couple washes and they've held up incredibly. I'm actually super grateful for one of my close friends, Rachel, Rachel Southern, 
if you're watching this channel, you probably know her. She's been loving her Janu scrubs, put me on it, and I am so, so happy that she did because now I get to put you guys on it. For those starting your clinical years of medical school or looking to turn that page over into residency like me, get yourself a pair of new Janu scrubs at my link in the description below. Use code NDMD20. Again, that's NDMD20 at Janu. You get seriously one of the best scrubs that you will ever wear. I'm gonna hope and pray that they give me the confidence and the willpower to get through my last standardized patient encounter so I can graduate med school and enjoy the last little bit of freedom before residency. So let's go. Just like that, that is the last time I will ever have to be in that building. Sayonara. But now this day keeps going because we gotta have a quick drive. So I'm on the way to kind of Northwest Georgia to do some surprise engagement photos for one of my old roommates, Tanner. Uh, if you remember, he was in like the early, early vlogs. He is the dog dad to Myla, the golden retriever that probably saved my life during my first year of medical school. And I haven't done engagement photos in a little bit, especially the ones where you're camping in a ghillie suit, kind of like in the bushes waiting for the right moment. But it's, it's, so, it's so fulfilling because I have the time to really enjoy to do these things and do a photo gig. But at the same time, it's interesting because during this period, you almost get too much time to think and to analyze and to, I think most dangerously, compare. And it's moments like this where a lot of med students are getting engaged, getting married, everybody around you is getting engaged and getting married because we're at the age and for those who aren't understandably the questions start to arise of like am i watching life pass me by as i've been in the hospital and in the books for most of the past four years insert them right there. Congratulations, guys! Yay! Yay! You did it! I always had yes, because I'm I'm so scared. I don't know how strong That's really cool. Right? That's really cool. And sometimes in this period, it flips from too much time, dang, to too much time, yay. Let's crack. So how's the uh, fourth year going? <laughs> <laughs> or I got you. who, who uh, out drove who? Oh shoot. Oh shoot, <laughs> we have to check. We have to check. Find out next time on <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. This, this is what fourth year looks like. Oh yeah. So it's a weird dream. It's a weird time. <laughs> oh no! You outdrove me by like a yard, <laughs> like half a yard. This is what happens when fourth years have too much time. You become pro golfers, and by pro, I mean. I love playing golf, but it's a miracle if I shoot less than 100. Actually, it's a good day if I hit less than 100. This guy's kicking my butt right now. It's not true. It's <laughs> not true. Give me some Janu. Dude. This has turned into a golf channel, which I would love it to. Uh, introducing Liam, well, reintroducing. What's been your favorite part of med school so far? Um, <laughs> God, I can't do it! <laughs> Getting to know Andy here. Yeah. Aww, thank you. Yeah. This is like now the time where it's just pure anxiety of waiting and you just like look to fill your time with hobbies that you never got to do as a med student uh probably just to keep your mind off of things yeah that's right oh how are you feeling 
<sighs> Dude, I can't do this. I can't do this <laughs> sacred <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Pounds later. Hey, I'm just now trialing out like the Jack Grealish, Kevin De Bruyne, like <laughs> middle part. So let me know how you guys like it or don't like it or don't say anything at all because it would hurt my feelings. <laughs> So at the time of me filming this, it'll be 24 hours um, before match day. Or at least the do I have a job match day. Friday is the whole like open envelopes, where you're going, woo. But really all that matters to me is Monday. Um, I'd be happy anywhere on my list, but I just need to know <laughs> that I'm somewhere on my list. And, um, that really these past seven years weren't for, I'm not gonna say nothing, cause I'm, I'm grateful. Uh, everything that I've gone through to learn and grow as a person. But you know how sometimes there are songs, smells, places that have memories attached to it, whether it be from a person, an event, um, that sometimes haunts you in good or bad ways. I've been in Augusta f for all my life. I want so badly more than anything just to have a new chapter and Monday is my it's my chance in a new chapter because in this med school purgatory time it's reminded me of how far I've come and also reminded me if I need to go further than that it can't be here and no matter what happens tomorrow I'll have an answer this period of waiting this period of isolation, really, because everybody is so, so anxious and are in their own little bubble of, I hope things go well. It ends in 24 hours. Um, so, um, I'll see you in the morning. But regardless, thank you for watching and following along. Final chapters here. <laughs>